Hey guys, welcome back to Real Estate Inform, the channel that keeps you up to date on all things real estate. My name is Kevin and today I want to talk about what if Trump loses and what would be the repercussions of that? So first thing I want to talk about is if Trump loses this election, um, he has about 76 days before he's out of office. Um, that's a, you know, you got the end of the year and then you're going into, you know, probably the first month of January. So basically in that 76 days, a lot can happen. And it doesn't matter if you're, a, you know, if you're from a blue state, or if you're from a red state, or if you're rich or if you're poor or if you're purple, green, yellow, I don't care your race or your religion. We all have to agree that, you know, Trump and his presidency, that Trump's personality is that he's kind of, um, how would you put it, petty? Uh, he just seems like a person who would, if he loses the election, he'll act like a child and just do things to benefit him and not benefit the general population. And so once again, I just want to pre preface this with the fact that um, in my previous videos, um, I you know, said that multiple times that the economy is being held up artificially. And I've done that. Please just go watch my other videos where I talk about how, you know, with the, you know, unemployment boost, with the, you know, um, mortgage forbearance, with the uh, no evictions, um, you know, Trump is basically holding this economy up just by all of the, you know, if there was no mortgage forbearance, we would have already had a significant de decline in housing. If there was no eviction moratorium till December 31st, uh, we would have already been in extreme levels of distress both for tenants and landlords um, it would have just been chaos and Donald Trump is holding the economy up I mean what other situation can you see that we go into a global pandemic and stock prices go up where do you see that I mean you can ask you know the, the, the you know economics you know you know, leaders across the world and they'll tell you it doesn't make sense. And the only sense that I can make out of it is that the economy is artificially propped up. And what I mean by that is interest rates are dug into the ground. The interest rates are at historic lows, which force people to continue to buy housing. I live in the Seattle area, you know, and I have personally firsthand seen that in May, June, July, prices were actually going up and we were in a global pandemic. It did not make sense. People were just continuing to buy homes and buying overpriced homes and they still are today is because when you lower interest rates, it's by a factor of 10 is usually what it is, is 1% of interest rate decline means 10% increase in, increase in price of um, in the Seattle area. Now other areas, it, it's usually about the same, but um, yeah, that's usually what, what, what happens. Um, so whenever you get an increase in interest rates by 1%, you'll get a decrease in uh, property values by at least 10%. Um, and so when this pandemic hit, we saw prices go up. We saw a stock market go up. We saw, all, and none of this made sense to us. We have career, we have career high. We have um, <laughs> career high. I'm thinking of like basketball stats. Uh, no, we have, you know, we have historic highs in unemployment. And it, trust me, it's getting better now. I'm not saying I'm saying people are going back to work and it's getting a little bit better. But at that time, May, June, July, we just had historic highs of unemployment. Yet. We had home prices going up, stock market was through the roof, and everyone was wondering, you know, economics uh, are, are just wondering what's going on, you know? And it, the bottom line was, as I said in multiple other videos, and I haven't actually put out a video in a while, is simply because nothing's changed, you know? Um, it's, I just, I don't like to be one of those people who, you know, repeat myself over and over again. Please watch my, you know, other videos that I have on here about unemployment, about mortgage forbearance, about, you know, how these are just artificially propping up our economy. Um, and, and, and that's why we are where we are right now. Um, I, I, you know, no one would ever anticipate in a mil million years that uh, we would have a global pandemic where no one can, everyone has to work from home, no one can go outside, and home prices continue to go up. Um, that's just where we're at right now. So with that being said, I thought about this the other day and I wanted to make a quick video about it right before the election is, 
I thought about what if you know Trump doesn't win? What if it's just a landslide victory? Because I know that there's times where Trump, you know, will, you know, obviously, you know, if it's a close race, he might not concede and all of this, and he's got this like, you know, recount or whatever, whatever the situation is. Um, but if it is a landslide victory and he does concede, my thoughts went to, man, is he going to hold up the economy? You know. Uh, Trump is a very petty person, um, and no matter if you're a blue state or from a, a red state or what, or an independent or whatever, we all must agree that uh, uh, Donald Trump can be petty and childish at times. And so, if he loses the election, in my personal opinion, I feel like he'll do anything that benefits him and his companies and his real estate, and he won't really care about the people. Which, which I mean, uh, m meaning that he might get rid of mortgage forbearance, he might get rid of the eviction moratorium, he might. Um, uh, increase interest rates. Um, you know, he's got 76 days. He might do whatever he, he can do uh, while he's there so that when when you got to change over hands, I think it's January 21st or, you know, somewhere in uh, late January uh, when the inauguration is, he's going to try to keep it, um, you know, the economy in the worst place possible. So it's the bigger hill to climb. Um, that's if he loses. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, and so I thought about that the other day and I was like, man, if he actually loses, it might be it might be worse. Like, you know, uh, people want, you know, a change of power. It might be good. Maybe someone who can handle the pandemic a little bit better. Now, I don't want to be political on the channel. I just want to talk about real estate. But in my mind, Real estate is connected to politics in a way, which interest rates and mortgage forbearance and, you know, this unemployment, uh, you know, helping tenants pay for um, their rent. Um, so if he gets rid of all of that and there is no unemployment boost, well, there isn't now anyways, but Trump was forcing um, a 250 to $400 unemployment boost. But... Um, you know, if he stops doing that and he just says, you know what, no more mortgage forbearance, no more, he could just sign an executive order. Um, so if he does that, I mean, we might see the recession come a lot quicker than what we originally had planned. Um, and it might be a much bigger hill to climb when he's out of office to, to kind of pick up the pieces and move forward. Um, uh, because it's, yeah, so I, I thought about that and I just wanted to, you know, voice my opinion about what I think. Um, if you, you know, share your thoughts with me, you know, uh, down, down in the comments below, you know, share your thoughts, see what you think. Do you think that he'll do that? Do you think he won't? Um, do you think he'll just win and they'll, we'll never have to worry about this? Um, I, you never know. So, um, yeah, share your comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. And yes, definitely I will be having more content. Uh, coming to, ooh, I'm really bright right now. Uh, yeah, I will definitely, the sun's coming up. Uh, I will definitely have more content coming to the channel. I've just been really busy running around because the housing is crazy right now. Housing is just keeps going up and up and up and that's more business for me, less time for videos, but I will definitely try to at least do one video a week to where I feel like where the real estate market is. Um, hopefully that got, that got you guys thinking. Hopefully, you know, gives you some sort of information on, you know, where my head is at um, and gets you thinking too. Um, I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, have a good one. Thanks. Bye.